your guitar has traveled far all the way from California in a big brown box on an airplane way down to Patagonia so far south she's never been a change of season a cold desert wind she must be wondering what kind of trouble she's in but just look at her she's beautiful and her face shines with its own light no longer young she's seen her years and i can see that you loved her truly she loved you and stayed by your side a constant voice all through your life all her sweet spots making you Stranger's touch. She's skittish still. So I start out taking it slowly. The familiar tunes to take her back. First up the Red River Valley to let her know. She's not alone, but I know something about leaving home. We settle down in Shenandoah. And why? Your guitar has traveled far all the way from California. I have a very close and long-standing relationship with old guitars. I'm sort of obsessed by them, and, uh, and I think my songwriting career is, in some, in part, uh, just a grand enabling device for me to justify uh, uh, or indulge my, my fascination with, with old guitars and the way they sound and the way they, they play. And um, that song was, was written uh, just after getting into my hands for the first time, a guitar that I had bought. Um, it was a 1931 Larson. Um, very special guitar and I just started th you know as I held it and played it for the first time I just started to think about the stories that it must you know if it could talk what what would it say uh, where it had been you know uh, who had owned it what had been played on it and I started to get a sense of the of you know you know a previous owner um, who you know it was a, just a Spectacular, spectacularly beautiful guitar, and you know, he or she must have had a, 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 a wonderful, you know, relationship with it. And I just started to get a sense of their personality coming out of the guitar. And so then I, I, I was 
kind of channeling that person and, uh, and then sort of started anthropomorphizing the guitar itself, attributing to it feelings and, and, uh, and, and, and opinions and fears and, and a point of view that uh, as, if it were, as if it were human. And I, I, I kind of do that with guitars sometimes. We name them, for example. Um, so that's the story behind that guitar, that song. This song is called Careless. It's the title track for my new record, uh, which came out in uh, early September. Uh, this song is, uh, is a, a kind of outlier for me. I usually write uh, narrative songs, ballads, uh, songs from the points of view of other characters. Um, uh, this one is quite autobiographical, and it was, and as such, it sort of freaked me out when I wrote it. it uh, I wrote it in about 20 minutes. It was uh, the fastest song I've ever written, and uh, it deals with, um, it's a pretty straightforward song, um, unvarnished. You'll, you'll, you'll hear what I mean by that. Um, the guitar technique um, on this song, I, I figured out, uh, I record, I was, I live in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I wrote it in, in that apartment, uh, where I live with my family. And, and we, um, it was, it was late at night and I had just finished writing the song and everybody else was asleep in the apartment and I wanted to get it down on, on, you know, I wanted to get it recorded, but I didn't want to make too much noise. And, uh, so I, I went into my office and I turned on a little uh, uh, USB mic and, and I just, I started playing, but I was making a lot of noise and so I just started tapping because I just wanted to get the chord progression of the melody, nothing else. And it stuck. <laughs> I've been playing it that way ever since. So, so here it is, this is called Careless. It was April, May I can't be more precise I was drinking then The time frame is a wash But I lost you Of that I am quite sure All your reinforcements all your messages, I got them all. Sure, I was drinking. That is no excuse. The drink brought out the worst in me. The worst in me was me. Forget. I can't. 
careless I was with you then. You was my friend. Careless, how could I have been so?